In crypto, we see many little dips, and then every now and again, we tend to see some very big dips that we might call corrections or crashes. Both little and big dips can make sense to buy depending on your investing strategy. If you are range trading, then little dips are great to buy. If you are a long-term investor, then the big dips can be rewarding for building long positions. Of course, timing the bottom of those dips is next to impossible and can be a fool's errand. And that is why it can help to dollar cost average as a price falls if done properly. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to buy the dip properly and strategically, whether it be with crypto or any other asset. All versions of this strategy aim to buy at low prices rather than high ones by buying when others are selling. For this strategy to work, one has to use a little counterintuitive logic and fight off some common emotions. Specifically, one must put aside the fear that comes when everyone is selling during a correction, and two, put aside the impulse to buy high when it seems everyone is buying. All right, so let's talk about some keys to buying the dip. So one question that you always need to ask yourself is what is the overall trend? General Wisdom says buy the dips in an uptrend and sell the rips in a downtrend. Trading with the trend is always the path of least resistance. Do not make it harder on yourself. I always got to tell people this. Another question you should ask yourself when trying to figure out if it's a good time to buy the dip or not, why did the price dip? Try to understand why the dip happened. Are there any FUD or rumors going around that might have a temporary impact on Bitcoin? Is Bitcoin currently overbought and consolidating and might need some time to cool off before the next move up? Now here's some tips to be successful with the strategy. You can dollar cost average. What that means is buying incrementally as the price goes down, creating an average position and aiming to buy more as the price decreases further. This can help you to build a long-term position or to make a quick buck when the price and volume pick back up. So if you're dollar cost averaging, you do need to have a higher risk tolerance because you know you're buying as a price decreases and it could take a while sometimes for the price to come back up to whatever your average entry is so if you want to try to avoid that you can try buying with momentum what you do is you wait until the price settles and perhaps even shows a sign of recovery and then buy at that point when it's bouncing at a support level or breaking out from a previous resistance that means there's momentum in that trade and it might be a good time to use that momentum as you're by the dip entry. The next tip is use key historic support levels. So you wanna set buy orders at lower prices and let them fill. Setting buy orders just before historic support levels and psychological levels is an especially good strategy. Use top-down analysis starting from higher time frames and working your way down to find these levels. We always want to make the right moves, but no one is right all the time. If you need to, be ready to take a loss with a stop. If you have profits, considering taking some profits. No one can time every bottom or top, so lock in some gains when you have them. In this video, we will be going through our breakout trading strategy to some extent. With this breakout trading strategy, we can identify a trend at a very early stage and enter into the trade very early and make some profit. This pattern can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto trading because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets. You can find so many places where these patterns occur. If you look closely, you can find them everywhere with some slight changes in the pattern. A breakout is any price movement outside the defined support or resistance area. Let's move on to some examples. In this pattern, 
when the market is in a bullish trend and find a resistance area the price comes down after hitting that area and again tries to find the bullish trend and again fails and if it is making another higher low and approaching to the resistance level there is a high probability to make a pattern like this if the price break through the resistance level and goes up it will be a breakout but it won't suddenly goes up at a higher pace most of the time after the breakout there will be a time where market remains in the same price range as we shown here in the purple color box after some time the price will come down to this level earlier this level was the resistance now it will become the support level after hitting that there is a high chance the price will get a boom so this is really a simple scenario I'm not telling that each and every time these patterns appear perfectly and work the same as in theory. But with some small small changes in the pattern, this breakout pattern works perfectly most of the occasions. In this pattern, you can see the opposite of the previous one. 